Lord is faithful. Amen? Amen. Today we're going to be singing together. We're going to do it a little differently. We're going to sing song number 983 in your songbook, Great is Thy Faithfulness. My husband and I are going to tag team today. And we're going to pause after each verse for a short testimony time. So if you'll join with me after an introduction from the band, we're going to sing together on verse 1. Again, it's song number 983, Great is Thy Faithfulness. faithfulness and seeing these soldiers be enrolled today and knowing what he's done in my own life, I can't help but to claim 1 Thessalonians 5.24 as my testimony today. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. I think back three years ago to receiving my calling and coming here as a very shy insecure girl who swore she would never preach or, or never stand in front of a congregation and standing in this very spot with this beautiful core family and sharing my very first sermon or standing here and leading my very first song which hopefully I've improved I'm still not that great <laughs> but just doing things that in my mind were completely impossible and I was reminded that God is so faithful God will do it. It will be through his strength. But the great thing that I've experienced through the love of this poor family is that not only does God do it, but he does it through the love of people like you. And he's done that for me. I've experienced his faithfulness time and time again through this poor family. Our success, I know all of us that Clearwater is sent in training, who we are today, how prepared we are, is a great deal to do with what you all have meant for us and your faithfulness as soldiers in this beautiful army. You've been faithful in loving us, teaching us, praying for us, encouraging us, guiding us, and yes, at times rebuking and correcting us. Thank you for that. <laughs> we just want to say, to repeat the words of Sheena, thank you so much. All of you have meant so much to us and, and you've helped us grow. I left this place a changed person and so much more prepared for the process that training would be because of my time that was spent here and I just hope that you all know what you've meant to us and you've welcomed us into your home and when we come here to Clearwater we are home and we thank you for that so God is faithful new soldiers as you've been enrolled it's going to be scary and you may feel God calling you to things that you never imagined possible but he is faithful and he will do it and I wonder if you might go ahead and stand with us as we sing the second and third verses of this wonderful song. And we'll just start right on that, that second verse. And we'll pause between the second and third verse for a brief word. So
words of the third verse begin, pardon for sin and peace that endureth. We have many identities when we come into the love of Christ. Uh, we've seen these gentlemen here this morning and lady uh, assume the identity of a soldier in the Salvation Army. As new lieutenants, we assume the identity of shepherds, pastors, uh, administrators, um, and what I like to call professional lovers of people. As a herald of grace, I will always be a herald of grace, the words in this third verse, wow, what an amazing grace that we are people who enjoy. Pardon for sin and peace that endureth. God is faithful. Amen? Amen. It is with this presence that we sing about in this third verse that I gather strength and hope. And now we are bracing for the many blessings that will come with being Salvation Army officers. And so I just need to say thank you. Because it is through your love and your genuine compassion and support that we have continued to experience God's faithfulness. You need to understand that. And we know as we step out into this battlefield as green new lieutenants, we know that you'll be praying for us. And we know that we're not doing this alone, that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses who will continue to pray for us. I want to say thank you. As we sing this third verse, if the songsters would come forth, and uh, prepare for your time of ministry, uh, that would be great. Sing with me on this uh, third and final verse. Oh, yeah. 